What's up and how's it going, summoners? Great to see you all again. My name is Crumbs and I'll be your host for patch 13.3's low elo tier list. If you're unfamiliar with this series, it's as you expect from the title. We go over the best champions to play in order to quickly climb out of low elo. These lists are a little bit different from our general tier list, so if you're gold or lower, make sure to watch this through if you're trying to break into the next ranked division or tier. Also, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content like this, and let's get the video started. We'll start with the top lane like always. From our video last patch, there haven't been many changes to the tier list, but definitely check it out. We featured our OP picks, being Garen, Trindamir, and Olaf last episode, so this time we'll highlight a few new picks to watch out for. Our first highlighted champion will be Mordekaiser. For how difficult he is, Mordekaiser is an excellent pick who definitely has what it takes to carry your games. He makes for an even better pick when your team is lacking magic damage. When your mid laner decides to pick an AD champion, Mordekaiser does a great job of diversifying your damage spread while also providing a frontliner that your teammates can rely on. That said, once ahead, Mordekaiser absolutely demolishes his lane opponents. His high damage, powerful short trades, and oppressive ultimate force opponents to give him a ton of respect. If they don't, well, then you press R and pick up your free kill. Mordekaiser has very few weaknesses. The biggest is that his opponents can try and kite him, but this is typically a much smaller issue at low elo. Player movement isn't usually as good, and as a result, you stand to benefit being able to dish out maximum DPS. For all that power, you don't even need to invest that much time to play Mordekaiser. His combos are simple, and you basically play lane in one of two ways. You farm with Q from a distance, or you try and pressure your opponent to poke them down with it. When you want a heavier trade or an all-in, weave in some basic attacks and use your E to either initiate a fight or catch them running away. The hardest part will be learning how to properly use your W in regards to timing. That said, just run some games and you'll get the hang of him in no time. For our next featured pick, we've got Jax. He's a straightforward pick, especially given that most of your damage is going to come from basic attacks. There is a little bit of intricacy to playing Jax, but that really comes down to just understanding matchups. However, that is something you need to learn with every champion, and once you learn the harder matchups, you should have no problem consistently carrying games with him. That said, there are very few counter picks to Jax, which is part of why he's so good. Even if you blunder and fall behind early, his scaling is absolutely amazing, and you can always make a comeback with him. Don't ever feel discouraged or that all hope is lost when you're playing Jax. Jax is an amazing carry because of his scaling, mixed damage, and how oppressive he can be to fight when behind. His Q is a great gap closer that also makes it extremely difficult to run away from him. Due to his mobility, high damage, and honestly his survivability with ultimate and counter-strike, Jax makes a great team fighter as well as split pusher. That's part of why he's so good at carrying games. He can do both and play around what's happening. When his team is ahead, he can join them in skirmishes to close out games fast. Otherwise, he can stick to the silent and bring the pressure to him or threaten to just end games single-handedly when left unchecked. While I've got your attention, let me ask you our question of the day. Which champions have you had the most success with when trying to carry your games? I've been finding success with Tristana recently for similar reasons to Jax. She scales really well and her mobility makes it tough to escape from her when she's ahead. Tell me your answers in the comments below and we'll continue the video. That's it for the top lane, so let's go ahead and run through the jungle next. We'll start off the jungle with our tier list. Take a quick look and as you can see, our top picks for this patch are Udir, Maokai, and Amumu. Speaking of Amumu, he's also our first featured pick for this video. Amumu is once again a character who is easy to play but who can hard carry games. His clear speed is pretty fast and especially with the changes from this patch, he's set to become an even better pick than before. Amumu's combos and abilities are easy to use, and it's honestly really straightforward. You Q to initiate, then try to hit as many people as you can with an ultimate or flash ultimate, then continue chasing people down with your W and E. This simple to execute crowd control combo also makes him a great ganker, especially after level 6, where it's basically a guaranteed kill every time. In terms of his carry potential, Amumu is looking to shine as a Jack Show user with Radiant Virtue receiving nerfs. That said, Amumu is easily one of the best team fighters in the game with his game-changing ultimate, tankiness, and damage over time. He can add some more magic damage to your team comp, forcing enemies to build more MR, or instead take some serious damage from where they'd least expect it. Next, we have Echo. 
He is on the harder end of champions because you're going to have to learn a few things before expecting to hard carry your games. For one, you need to practice timing your W and his kit doesn't really have any point and click abilities to use aside from his E. His clear is also not super straightforward. You'll want to observe how high elo or pro players clear the jungle with echo and practice replicating this yourself. However, there are things that don't really change too much from game to game, so once you do have these mastered, you'll be able to win your games and carry your teammates. Echo is one of the most potent carries in the game. Once ahead, he deals insane damage and is so slippery that he can basically one-shot a carry then get out of jail for free. His ultimate is a great way for him to really disrupt games. An assassin that can jump in and get out immediately is a huge threat, but he can also use his ultimate aggressively, stalling for some time with Zhonya's or running away to bait enemies into his ultimate and getting a gigantic AoE nuke when the time is right. If you're willing to put some time in to master a champion, definitely look into learning Echo as he'll continue to provide value as you climb up the ranks. That covers our jungle picks, so next, let's run through the mid lane. In the mid lane, our OP picks for this patch are Malzahar, Anivia, and Yone. There are plenty of great picks though, so make sure to take a look at our list for reference. For featured champions, let's talk about Anivia first. The thing about Anivia is that she's not hard at first glance, but the things you need to learn are quite subtle. What's most important is learning how to position yourself properly. You need to stay safe and find the best areas to place your abilities during teamfights. Another important part of playing Anivia is proper wall placement. You'll definitely want to study excellent Anivia players to learn the best ways to use her wall. A great wall can make all the difference as it'll either make landing your stun much easier or even increase your damage output significantly. In terms of carry potential, Anivia scales really well. She does remarkable damage but also ends up being pretty tanky as well. Enemies will have a hard time bursting her down, giving her opportunities to stun them, reposition, and continue dealing significant damage during teamfights. If enemies can't take her out of fights cleanly, she will continue contributing heavily via damage, crowd control, and her wall which can make positioning extremely inconvenient. We'll feature Tristana next because she's the definition of who you want to play if you're looking for the easiest way to climb. Tristana is not only easy to pick up, but one of the hardest carries in the game because of her insane scaling. Tristana's laning face is powerful for a variety of reasons. Since she is an AD champion, those basic attacks are really going to hurt, and most AP mid laners have trouble fighting against characters who can aggressively trade. AP champions typically want to hit you with an ability and run away, but Tristana thrives the longer the fight goes on, and she can aggressively jump in with her W to force a longer fight. Tristana can also push in lanes with ease, not having to rely so much on having enough mana to do so, making her an easy champion to play if you want to help your jungler apply pressure. That said, Tristana is an excellent pick against mages who are very popular in the mid lane. Navori Quickbaits is a great item on her as well that allows her to constantly have access to her Q's attack speed buff as well as a shorter E cooldown. It's truly devastating having to play against a good Tristana player because she's able to travel so far with her jump and proceed to deal some insane damage. Since she scales so well, this makes her perfect for low elo players. Even if you don't have the best start, you can stall games out and look for opportunities to hard carry fights later. If you do pull ahead, your opponents are stuck fighting an uphill battle that will likely end in their defeat. That's it for mid laners, so let's head into the bottom lane next. Check out our bottom lane tier list for this patch. We've got Samira, Tristana, and Neela as our OP picks. Tristana is in a great spot as she's a flex pick that can be played in both the bot and mid lane, creating some ambiguity during champion select. Who knows, your opponent might try to counter pick only to learn she's being played somewhere else. Now for featured picks, we'll start with Neela. In terms of difficulty, the hardest parts are going to be surviving early on because of her low attack range. You'll also need to play her a bit to learn how to best use her W. Timing can be tricky here. That said, she's another worthy investment of your time because she's so good at carrying games. Neela, oddly enough, ends up being both a very aggressive and defensive carry at the same time. Her design lets her strike that balance and you get to deal plenty of damage while relying on sustain and mobility to help you survive through teamfights. Neela's healing helps out not only herself, but her teammates, and she's able to make sure that her teammates can contribute something to a teamfight, even if it's just soaking up some damage. That said, she is extremely hard to kill later into the game and can easily find herself being the last one standing to wrap up and win those crucial teamfights for her allies. 
Next on the list, we've got Jin. Jin can also be a bit tricky to learn as most of his abilities are skill shots, so you will need to practice. Also, since he has his reload mechanic, you'll need to play him a little bit differently than other marksmen, focusing heavily on movement between attacks and repositioning. That said, he's not the hardest simply because he has such a powerful laning face with his damage output and utility. In terms of carry potential, Jin unfortunately isn't perfect, but he's still great. Since he has to reload after using his bullets, he does have gaps in his DPS. However, he makes up for it with his insane range and utility. He's able to follow up on any crowd control his teammates provide with his high range W and also provides a massive threat with his ultimate which he can use to initiate fights on a straggling enemy or clean up enemies trying to run away. With the bot lane covered, let's conclude with our supports. To start, we'll throw up the tier list we've compiled for supports. Notable picks this patch are Amumu, Sona, and Heimerdinger based on what style you're looking to play. Like in the jungle, Amumu takes the lead this patch. His team fighting is simply too good to pass up, but playing him as a support is a little bit different. You need to be careful not to get poked too much. He's designed to be a jungler and fighting jungle creeps is totally different from fighting enemy players. If you get poked too much, you won't have enough health to start fights off with a clean engagement, but nonetheless, he's still just as easy to play in terms of execution. For his carry potential, Amumu's crowd control is definitely OP tier. He's able to lock down the enemy laners after level 6 and help his lane partner easily pull ahead. He also has the option to roam to side lanes with or without his ultimate. It's like playing jungle Amumu, guaranteed kills after level 6. Even if enemies are under their turret, if you do coordinate a dive well, you should have no problem picking up a clean takedown. For enchanters, we'll feature Sona for this patch. Her laning can be a little bit tricky because she's so squishy. More aggressive engage supports can blow her up easily, so you'll want to play safe and slowly poke away at your opponents. You also need to learn to manage your passive to maximize your utility or damage, but that will come naturally as you play her more. For her carry potential, Sona provides some of the best utility in the game with increases to damage, mobility, and some healing to back it all up. Her ultimate has the potential to shift the tides of battle with its great range and because you can potentially hit the entire enemy team with it. Finally, for pressure supports, we've got Brand. Positioning can be tough as he doesn't really have much in his kit to help him out there. It's all going to come down to movement and your summoner flash when you're put in a tough spot. His stun does take a little longer to come out as you do need to hit your enemy with an ability before throwing out your Q. In addition, while Brand's combos aren't hard to use, you do need to learn when to use them. Once mastered, however, Brand is one of the best carry supports in the game. He has one of the highest damage combos during teamfights as he's able to quickly rotate through his spells and deal massive AoE damage. Even if he's the main target of a fight, as long as he manages to get off one rotation of his abilities, the impact he has is huge. You definitely cannot be sleeping on Brand. With supports covered, that wraps up our low elo tier list for patch 13.3. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section down below. Good luck in your game, summoners, and I'll see you all in the next one.